Today we read Eric Carle's The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Today we're going to read a non-fiction book that has pictures of real caterpillars and real butterflies. I can't wait to share it with you. This is called Caterpillar to Butterfly and it's part of the National Geographic Kids series. Inside the cover, there's some really cool information about how you can be a National Geographic Kids Super Reader. Moms and dads can go to kids.nationalgeographic.com and there'll be the information there about how to be a super reader. I know all of my friends are already super readers. Caterpillar to Butterfly by Laura Marsh. This is a nonfiction book, so it tells us things that are true and real. This has a table of contents. It helps us find what we're looking for in the book if we wanted to look for one specific thing. We're going to read the whole book today, so we don't really need to look at the table of contents that closely, but it's really important to know that it's there. A riddle. What starts as an egg, then walks on many legs, then uses his wings to fly. A butterfly. Beautiful butterflies. Butterflies are fun to watch. They fly with loops and dives. Some have bright colors. Some have bold patterns, too. Four stages. It's also fun to watch butterflies change. They change a lot in their short lives. In fact, there are four stages to a butterfly's life. One is an egg. Two is the caterpillar. Three is the chrysalis. And four is the butterfly. A catchword. Stages are the steps of how something grows. Stage one, eggs. A mother butterfly lays many eggs on a leaf or a branch. Each egg is close to food. Caterpillar food, that is. Do you see all of those little eggs? That's a lot of eggs. Butterfly eggs come in different shapes and all colors. Look at all the different shapes along the side. Some are like circles and some are kind of long and more like ovals. Stage two, caterpillar. The tiny caterpillar bites a hole in the egg. It crawls out. The caterpillar is very hungry. Do you see all the egg caterpillars crawling out of those eggs? The caterpillar eats its shell. Then it eats the leaf it's on. The caterpillar leaves, moves to a new leaf. It eats that too. The caterpillar grows and grows. It gets too big for its skin. It sheds its old skin like a snake. The new skin fits for a while, but then the caterpillar is too big for that skin. Caterpillars shed their skin four or five times. Stage three, chrysalis. By now the caterpillar is ready to rest. It hangs upside down. It sheds its skin one more time. The new
new layer is called a chrysalis. It is a hard shell in, and inside the caterpillar is changing. It stays in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. That's a monarch butterfly caterpillar. And do you see how it's changing? Stage four, butterfly. The chrysalis moves, it splits open. The butterfly wiggles out. Its wings are wet and crumpled. Blood pumps into the butterfly's wings. They get bigger and harden. The wings dry. Now the butterfly is ready to fly. Have a good trip, butterfly. That butterfly is called a Julia butterfly. Time for lunch. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like a caterpillar. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks the juice from fruit. A tube on its head works like a straw. Slurp. Another catch word, nectar. A sugary liquid found in flowers. Cool butterfly facts. The world's smallest butterfly is the blue pygmy. Its length it is the length of a pushpin from wing to wing. A pushpin is like one of those little pins that we put in our bulletin board. That's a pretty small butterfly. Two, butterfly wings are covered with tiny scales. Three, butterflies are found all over the world except in Antarctica and the driest deserts. Four, there are about 17,000 kinds of butterflies in the world. Five, butterflies taste with their feet. They have taste sensors there. The world's largest butterfly is the Queen Alexandra Birdwing. It is as long as a ruler from wing to wing. Back off. Caterpillars and butterflies are a tasty snack for predators, but they have tricks to keep predators away. Some hide using camouflage. Some can be deadly to eat. Some look like other things. Catch word, camouflage. Camouflage is an animal's natural color or shape that hides, helps it hide away from an enemy. A predator. A predator is an animal that eats other animals. What does this butterfly look like? He looks a little bit like a snake, doesn't he? That is a neat pattern. Moth or butterfly? Butterfly. Bodies are slender. The antenna have thin little knobs at the end. Can be brightly colored. Most fly during the day. A moth. Antennas are slim to a point and look like feathers. Their bodies are fat and furry. They're usually brown, tan, or white, and they mostly fly at night. Bring butterflies to you. You can bring butterflies to your backyard. Make a butterfly garden, but first ask an adult.
dealt to help. Here's what you'll need. Plants that are local to your area. Plants that bloom at different times. Orange, purple, yellow, pink, and red flowers. Flowers that are clustered together. Flat top flowers. A sunny spot for butterflies to rest like a flat stone. A wet or watery spot for butterflies to drink. No chemicals, which can kill butterflies and caterpillars. When we get back to school, maybe we can try and plant a butterfly garden and see how many butterflies we can get to come to us. What in the world? See these pictures? Show, show close-up views of butterfly things. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. The answers are over here. Let's see. A caterpillar starts here. Where does a caterpillar start? In the egg. Hint. Big changes happen inside. What's the name of the house that the caterpillar builds to change into a butterfly? A cocoon or a chrysalis. Let's see, three. This is an all-day eater. A caterpillar. Four. This is covered with scales. The butterfly wing. It uses this to hide from predators. Camouflage. That's a big word. Hint. 